to PCOR 101. All right, our agenda for today is we will be covering the following. How to register into PCOR, how to sign in into PCOR, and what you can access into PCOR. This will show you how to register to PCOR. Right, let's get started on this. All right. So the first thing that you will get to start the process is you will be receiving an email from PICOR with an invite for you to create your account. So what you will do is click on the access code and it will lead you to create your account. Be mindful that this expires in 24 hours. Again, the code expires in 24 hours. All right, so right after you click the access code, it will lead you to this page to start the sign up process. The first thing you will enter is your last name. And then as soon as you finish writing your last name, you will go ahead and click next. And then right after that, you will go into this page and enter your date of birth and your social security number. And then you will click next. And there you go. And then you will go into this page and create a new account, which is the most common method. And as soon as you click that button, it will lead you to this page. So you will go ahead and enter in a username of your choice and a password of your choice. And then make sure you read and scroll all the way down to be able to click this button right here. Make sure your username is unique. If it is not, then it would not allow you to move forward along with your password. So make sure your username and password is unique because it would not allow you to move to the next step. All right, so right here on this page, you will see the security setup. Um, the best way is to skip account recovery setup at the moment. And then next you will go into this page, which is the security questions. So you will pick a question and answer them on this box. So there's going to be a drop down menu of questions and then you can go ahead and answer them on this side. Like so. And then after that, you will go ahead and click on that button right there where it says complete registration right on the bottom. And after that, it will If it was your first time, it will lead you to this, which is a tax credit screening. You can go ahead and click that and fill out the questionnaire to identify if you are eligible for work opportunity tax credit program. All right, and then after that, you will go into this page and make sure that you did in fact finish. And then you can go ahead and click this and sign in and it will lead you to this page where you will enter your username and password. All right, so we'll go into the sign in into PayCore. So you, again, you will click this button to sign in. You will get into this page, enter your username and password to sign in. And then after you sign in, 
successfully, you will see this page, you will see home and me. When you hover over me, you will see time card, pay steps, profile summary. The profile summary area in Perform has several features and functions and is the default landing page for all users. All right. All right, so on this page, if I click on me, you will see employee, company, compensation, time and attendance. On the employee drop-down menu, you will see summary, personal information, contact information, and I-9. And on the employee, employee details shows information specific to the employees. The contact information shows personal and work contact numbers, mailing addresses, and email addresses. Here you can edit, modify your name, your marital status, your ethnicity, disability, and veteran status. You can change your last name and change the necessary information that needs to be changed, and you can save that. On the contact information, you can, in fact, change your phone number and your addresses if they do change. All right, so on the next page, here you will see under company is current position, status, and labor allocation. But today you will be focusing on position and status. So your current position shows your company specific information. So the client would be us, which is home helpers, and that would be our client number. <clears throat> and then your job title would be caregiver. And for employee type, either regular or right variable. Department number would be right there. Manager, which would be Gatan. Status type, either full time or part time. And our pay group would be weekly. And then if you go into the bottom, you will see status. Status shows your employment status and type at your company, as well as the various employment dates. So you will see your hire date your rehire date, if you did quit in the past. And we can skip to the status, which is you being active, and employee number. And we can just disregard the bottom as well, which is ownership information with the Catan. All right. The goals and performance review pages are only available to employee pay, pay core clients that utilize Perform HR services. So that access would not be for you. All right, so let's go into the next page. All right. So the third drop down menu is compensation which is taxes, or direct deposit, and compensation history. Here, note it shows any time a direct deposit's account or routing number is changed or added, an email notification will be generated to employee of the account change. So if we feel like those changes was not accurate, and was not you requesting for a change, then please notify Paycor Security and the office as well. So under compensation, the taxes will show your federal and state taxes currently assigned to the employee. So 
So if you feel like those federal and state taxes needed to be changed according to your liking, then you can inform us in the office or you can also change it on your own. Direct deposit shows the direct deposit account that you have to set up for your paychecks. You may have access to edit or add your own direct deposit for your employer to verify. You can contact your employer to learn more about that as well. All right. So this will be the last page, which is the compensation history. So when you click to print your pay stubs W2 or 1099, your web browser may prompt you to enter your full social security number in order to verify your identity. It may also ask whether you would like to open or save the PDF file. So here on the compensation history, we will see your earnings, your deductions, and taxes all laid out for you. And right here, if you look over, it says the start date and the end date of what you would like to see. So let's say you would like to see the pay period from Saturday, January 4th to Friday, January 10th. When you enter those information, you will see the, your earnings, your deductions and taxes in that pay period. All right, so when we hover over to pay subs and click that button right there, you will see your pay stubs from January 3rd would be the first pay period when we join Paycor. So from January 3rd, which is your first paycheck of this year, 2020, you will see that here. And you can always change the years, but so far, the only pay stub you will see is from January 3rd, 2020, moving forward. Right here, if you click that button, that number right there, it will show up all this information. Just basically breaking down your pay stubs and what they are. Right here, we see the bottom right, and you can always close that, and you will see the rest of your pay stubs right here. Pay stubs, pay stubs, pay stubs. And it will allow you to open it up and print it if you would like for any circumstances. And that is everything you can access into Paper System. If you still have any questions, please reach out to the office. All right, thank you and have a good day.